Hello friends, Radhika Ravi Kumaiya. So we'll just uh, see the last but not the least one, least operator. This is the file test operator in this tutorial. So in the previous tutorial, I've already discussed all kinds of operators like relational, boolean, string, and all. Uh, we'll bring it into practice in the other upcoming uh, tutorials where we'll be seeing many programs, script, I mean scripting. Uh, we'll see how we can make use of those operators and all. So here we are with the final one. That's the file test. So file test operators mainly to check whether what kind of file it is, whether it's a block file, character file, or it's an ordinary file, or is it's a directory. We just need to know what kind of file it is. For that, we'll be using this file test operator. So how we are going to do this is, I mean, how we are going to test this is just uh, if you want to check whether the given file is a block file, then just say, make sure you are giving it within the square brackets hyphen b hyphen b indicates whether the file is block or not then give the file name okay not the file name wha whatever like uh, in this variable uh, will be having the file name so just give the dollar file so if you give it like this then we will be able to know whether if this returns true then uh, the respective file is a block file that's what it means so block file we all know what it is block file means where it is a, a cd rom or it's a flash drive or whatever so that's what block file means and then we have something called uh, character file if you want to check whether the file is a character file just say hyphen c and give the file name so we'll if this returns true as usual then it means that uh, the given file is a character file okay so in the same way there are other ways to test the files like whether it's a directory if you want to check whether the file is a directory gen then just say hyphen d dollar file so it's very easy to remember uh, whether if you want to check whether the file is a directory just directory that begins with d right so d if, if you want to check whether the uh, file is a character file then just say c if you want to check whether the file is a block then just say b so it's very easy to remember uh, if you want to test a file so this will give you whether if the file is a directory or not if it returns true then it's a directory then we have um, whether if you want to check the normal file then just say hyphen f so this will tell you whether the file is uh, uh, a normal file or ordinary file or what if it returns true then it's an ordinary file then we have something called uh, and also you can check whether the file is having the whether the file is having the read permission or not, whether it's a readable file, whether a writable file or executable file. You can test all those things also by simply mentioning hyphen R and giving the file name. So if this is having this respective file is having read readable permission, then it will return true. Okay. So in the same way you can test uh, whether the file is having uh, the execution permission, then it will be returning true if it is having so. So just say no dollar file, and the same way the write also you can mention as w. Okay, so dollar file. So these are the file test operators. Then finally we have something called hyphen s. Hyphen s what it does is it will check whether the given uh, file is uh, like what is the size of the file if the size is the size of the file is more then it will return true if the size is zero then it will return false so this is the another method of checking whether the file is empty or not so in the previous tutorial we have already seen how the string operators will work where we use the hyphen z hyphen n and all so in the same way you can use hyphen s in order to know whether the given file is uh, is empty or not if it is uh, empty then it will return uh, false if it is um, having some content like more than uh, zero size zero kb or something then it will return true okay so these are the uh, file test operators that are available so hope you guys have understood uh, so if there are any queries then please do mail me and um, do comment below this um, video and like the videos too and subscribe to my channel and thank you very much for watching